Thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring this video. Squarespace is the all-in-one platform to build a beautiful online presence and run your business. Whoa. Hi, hello, welcome back. I think this week I really want to change things up and try something different. It's been a while since I've made something for myself and I just don't feel as creatively fulfilled as usual. So I'm going to switch things up a bit and work with my hands. So I got this guy here, which is a giant block of clay and I want to make something out of this. <laughs> And I have colored clay because I used to be really into making little clay charms but I kind of dropped that hobby so I'm gonna try doing something now if you don't know already I am really into teapots right now I don't really know why I just want a lot of really cute teapots in my hands and in my house so that's what I'm focusing on this was the guy that inspired it all or at least he's one of them he's just a very beautiful teapot design and I'm gonna try to do something like this. Maybe take from the shape and also the colors and stuff, but I don't think this is all very practical to make in clay. It's just a starting off point. I also have this guy, is a print that I illustrated earlier this month that is very inspiring, I would say, because goose teapot. Goose plus teapot equals cottage core goodness. And that is what I'm gonna follow today. I don't really have a set plan right now, but I'm just gonna do what I always do, and that's to wing it and just to have a fun time because it's the weekend and I should relax. Everything's just gonna be a little more calm and I'm gonna try to be a little more chit chatty with you guys. I already know that the cottage core trend is kind of dying at this point. It was mostly more of like a summer thing and it has rather summery tones to it, but the cottage core never dies in me. This year, I do wish for like a revitalization of cottagecore, maybe like a little twist on this type of trend because there are like very retro things coming back with like squiggly lines and I don't know, like abstract shapes and wacky colors so maybe something like a cottagecore 2.0 can happen as well. So yeah, let's start kneading some clay. Okay, so when beginning a project, I really like to start with some research, mood boards, and inspiration and ideations, mostly in the form of small sketches. I'm using the sketchbook that I've had for the past year or so. It's mostly just filled with doodles and ideas and nothing's fully finished, which is all perfectly fine with me. The main purpose of this sketchbook is mostly just to get the basis of what I want to accomplish, especially when I'm dealing with a medium I'm not really familiar with. I want to think more about the shape language and also how it looks as a silhouette shape. And then being me, I really like to focus on the patterns as well because what is cottagecore teapots without their frilly and delicate patterns? I'm a little lost on how to really start this <laughs> like i've made stuff before i made smaller things but like a teapot has a structure and i guess i'll build up the walls first i should have thought this through more and honestly i never really think things through i think it's just a part of the procrastination that gets to me, but all I know is that somehow I make it work in the end. But it's also kind of something that I welcome more in my life. More recently, I've been struggling with this weight 
of just not knowing what's gonna be coming in the future. I think it's just because, you know, 2020 has ended now and it's the brand new start to 2021. And I've kind of set these goals for myself as you do with New Year's resolutions. I realized that by me setting up these goals for myself, it's become too daunting of a task, mostly because I guess the way I approached this new year was like, I need to catch up to everything that I missed out on last year, which isn't really a great mindset. I got into this weird spiral of thoughts, just mostly summing it up thinking that I haven't really matured enough because I'm 23 and I feel like I need to be way more ahead in my life. There were things that were really getting to my head, like, what if I'm just not mature enough? Am I just being too comfortable right now? I'm not getting out of my comfort zone or doing anything like to encourage me to grow more. But I realized that's not necessarily the case. It took me a while to really get out of this mindset and I really don't understand why sometimes this just happens. But you know, you just have those bad days. But what really did help was honestly just talking to friends and taking the time to really reflect on oneself. I'm a person who gets really lonely to be honest and I don't like to be left alone with my own thoughts. So the main goal for me actually, which isn't like a really super set goal with like numbers or like a certain project that I want to get done, is just to be comfortable with myself and to be comfortable with my own thoughts. There were certain things that have been really good reminders for myself, which is shedding the expectations you set for yourself and learning to grow and create at your own pace. Because it's not a competition, it's not a race to the end, it's just focusing on you. And so one way of focusing and creating things that I want to do is to create cute little clay creations like this little pot. <laughs> I ended up building up this basic foundation of the pot and you know it's bumpy here and there but it's all together and it really has its own unique character. Working with clay is just really satisfying for me because I'm just usually working digitally or maybe just in a sketchbook by hand but nothing that's really super 3D and you just get down and dirty with some clay. The only thing that's the downfall is that I feel like with Sculpey clay, I get like this residue on my hand, which really isn't the most pleasant thing, but you know, that's just a small little worry. I hope you're able to find that little joy of creation as well, whatever medium it may be, or maybe you could try creating just a little teapot for fun. I'm just hoping for a better 2021 where it's just full of growth and creativity in whatever capacity that we can hold. It's done! I think it turned out pretty okay. I mean, it's still a little wonky and you can tell it's very uh, homey, I guess, is one way of saying it. It definitely has that hand quality vibes to it and it's Nowhere near perfect, but it gives it character. <laughs> I think I want to put some more flowers maybe on it, just so it has a little more depth in some areas, and then it'll go straight to baking. Woo! But seriously, this size is like perfect. It's just very adorable at four inches or so. Yeah! And before we go on to the cute little decorations, I just wanted to take some time to thank Squarespace, who is the sponsor of this week's video. So if you haven't heard already, Squarespace is the all-in-one platform for you to create the website of your dream. You could do a website, your portfolio, or online shop, or whatever you need to showcase your creative works. They've got lots of already pre-made templates for you to choose from that you could customize with whatever colors and whatever way you want and really make it personal to you. Their e-commerce tools are really great and they also have 24 seven support. So they're there when you need it. So if you wanna try for yourself, you could go to squarespace.com for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch your website, you could go to squarespace.com slash thanks you for 10% off your first website. Thank you again to Squarespace for sponsoring, and now back to making the cutest little flowers.
And now I finally got to the painting stage of this little clay process. I feel like it was a fun time to realize all the different processes that goes into making this little teapot. It was really cathartic and relaxing to just focus on this small teapot for the weekend. But in the process of painting this, I got quite a bit of paint on my fingers. And I did start over with different coats of paint from time to time because I wasn't really sure about the colors I was using. But in the end, as predicted, it did work out. I've been rambling a lot now. I hope it kind of made sense or something. I'm not really sure. I'm not very coherent or eloquent with my words, but that's just how I do. I think I just wanted to share a little bit of how I've been feeling and how I've been reflecting on this new year. And hopefully it's kind of a shared sentiment. I just don't want to be too much of a downer, but I am looking forward to the better sides of the new year and also just creating whatever heckin' shit I want. <laughs> on me whoa so it's been a few days since i finished up my clay project and here she is i feel like i should have gone a little bigger scale just because it's very tiny but it's just very cute and i'm really happy with how it turned out because it just makes me happy when i look at it these are my happy colors and it just reminds me of like the meadows and the sunshine there's definitely no real purpose to it and it's not useful as a teapot, but I can maybe just include some washi tapes or some candies inside. And it's mostly just going to be decor with my plants. It was just a little happy weekend to make something a little bit more fun and wacky. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this little teapot and I think I'm gonna go back to more studio vlogs soon. I've been really itching to get my shop back up again because it's been quite some time and I really do miss packing orders and just making new merch and all that so please look forward to that so the next time you'll hear from me it'll probably be getting everything prepped and ready it's a really nice sunny day out today and i'm gonna just enjoy as much of it as i can and i hope you can enjoy the rest of your day as well too so please take care and i'll see you next time bye 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 bye, -bye. I am the teapot now. Oh. <laughs>